Foundation for Service Dog Support is teaching their dogs some new tricks with the New Leash on Life program. Here to tell us all about it, Karen Sendelback and Jessica Scott. And of course, Luna is here today. And uh, boy, is this an incredible dog. I think a lot of people know about service dogs and they know that they help people who are visually impaired. But what they might not know is that they're able to do a lot of other things, including what, what you call interrupting tasks. Absolutely. And we also uh, teach them what we call scent training. They can do medical alert. So we can actually train a dog. For example, if someone has a severe peanut allergy, we can actually train the dog to alert them if they get around peanuts. Wow, that is incredible because their noses are so much stronger than ours. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, let's talk about interrupting tasks. Okay. That can be useful for people who are dealing with depression, anxiety, or PTSD. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if they're in the middle of an attack, we can, we, meaning Jessica, our, <laughs> our master trainer, <laughs> yes. she, she is the trainer. And so she trains the team. So she doesn't just train the dog, she trains the handler as well. Can Be you demonstrate with oh, Luna sure. and, and her partner here, Scott, how an interrupting yeah. behavior might look? Yes. Jess, and talk us through it. Yes, so definitely when it comes to interrupting behaviors, this is to help their partner you know, disassociate with their panic attacks or self-harm, whatever the case may be, panic attacks that we just mentioned. The dog is able to either paw the handler, nudge the handler, or jump on the handler. Really whatever is comfortable for the dog, for the handler to train the dog to do that type of behavior. So just so I understand it, a dog like Luna would be so in tune with her partner like Scott mm -hmm. that she might sense when something is emotionally different. Absolutely, and some dogs are very good naturally at sensing those things, like Luna is very good with knowing when Scott is upset. Some dogs do not know that, so they have to be trained to be able to interrupt those behaviors, which is simply just mocking those behaviors. So you're pretending that you are you know, upset, you're showing emotion, and then you mark the behavior once the dog shows interaction, whether that be jumping or even shoving their face in your face and then rewarding that behavior, because that teaches the dog oh, you want me to do this for you, and then they continue to do it because they know they were rewarded for, for, from it before. And interrupting might not seem like such a big deal, but it really is if you yes. are spiraling and having some kind of a strong emotional response. Sometimes you yep. just need a, to, to pause yep. mm -hmm. or just to become aware that it's happening. Yep, and that's what interrupting does. It helps because it brings that person back down to their levels to where they can feel calmer, and the dog is actually distracting them from what they were thinking about before because that's their dog, that's the dog, that's the dog's job. That is to let them know, hey, pay attention to me. Don't pay attention to what you're thinking about right now. Just focus on me. And that is how it helps dis disassociate that type of behavior. Can you talk about the process of training a team like Luna and Scott? How long does it take? Yeah. How is it done? Yeah, so 18 months is how long our program is. So, and we, I teach Scott and he <laughs> teaches Luna. And then I kind of walk him through the steps of how to do this type of behavior and then I watch him to make sure that he's doing it correctly and then after that once I know that he's doing the job right I just tell him hey make sure you're working on this at home every day different environments so that Luna is able to do this behavior wherever you go not how, just inside the house. How can people find you if they would like to train a service dog? Very easily we are we're on the web obviously they can reach us at servicedogsupport.org or they can call us at 623-200-9762. The Foundation for Service Dog Support. And before we, we let you guys and Luna go, I know that we're all aware we shouldn't pet a service dog, for, for example, at the airport. Is there a right way to approach a service dog? Definitely. So definitely approaching their handler. So you want to ask the handler. You don't want to just go up to the dog. You want to still treat that handler like that they're a normal person and that they need to be asked, can I pet your dog or is it okay if I pet your dog? And the handler has full option to either say yes or no, but definitely always speaking to the handler first, not so the dog. What's this? Luna's kind of giving a hug, giving a snuggle. So this is what, the, what part of her interruption behavior looks like. So when Scott is sitting down in a chair and he may be showing some type of emotions, she'll start licking him, she'll start nudging him like you're seeing to kind of get him back to focus on her. This is making me smile today. What a great dog. Thank you so much, Scott, for being here. Luna, Jessica, Karen, thank you so much. I learned a lot.